Welcome to Wednesday's English Acorn class. Right, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at identifying a character's thoughts and feelings. Okay, so that means looking at how they might be feeling or what thoughts they might be have, so what, what they might be thinking, okay? So, we're going to look at Tom today and using the evidence from the book so far, so what we've read so far and what we've listened to, we're going to think about what that tells us about Tom, okay? So, here's an image of Tom with Mauser. So, thinking about what we already know so far, have a think yourself about what you think you know so far about him and then in a moment we'll discuss, okay? So, discuss with somebody at home and then I'll share my ideas, okay? Right, super. So we've got Tom, and so far we know that he's an old fisherman. We know he's got an owner, which is his cat, called Mauser. We know he goes sailing, we know he, he enjoys fishing whilst he's sailing, and we know that he enjoys cooking, and we know that his favourite dish, because it's Mauser's favourite dish, is fish. So they enjoy cooking together. So we do know quite a lot about Tom already, so we're going to use that evidence to create a role on the wall, okay? So using what we know, here's some ideas I've put down. Okay. Tom could possibly be thinking that, sorry, let me just move that. He hopes that the sea is calm for his journey. So if he goes sailing, he might be thinking that he wants the sea to be calm, which will make his journey a lot easier, okay? So that's a thought. I've then put some feelings in purple. So we might be feeling proud. Oh. That one's not wanting to move. So under there, I did have that he might be feeling joyful. Okay. We'll discuss these feelings in a bit more detail in a moment. Okay. Another thought that I've identified is that he might be thinking that Mauser is such a good owner because from what we've read, it seems to be that both cat and human are happy. Okay. They seem to have a really happy life. Okay. So that's just some ideas of what I've been thinking. You might have some different ideas. Okay. And I'm just going to model how we would put that into a role on the wall. So here is a role on the wall, and this is what we'd use to identify a character's thoughts and feelings. So if you remember, the feelings go on the inside. So imagine your heart on the inside, and that is what we're feeling. And then on the outside, imagine your brain up here about what you're thinking. On the outside, we're going to put what the character might be thinking, okay? And what we're doing is using evidence from the text. So you might, from what you have read, you might feel like the character is thinking something else that, other than what I'm thinking, okay? So you might think that Tom is um, thinking about having a relaxing day down at the harbour, okay? You might think that Tom is feeling ca quite calm, and that is fine. We can identify different thoughts and feelings amongst us, okay? So that is a role on the wall. So here is one here. I'm just going to put down some ideas, okay? So like I said, um, this is Tom, okay? So feelings on the inside, okay? So I did say that Tom was proud and I'm going to say proud because Mauser is so well behaved, okay? What you can do is put your feeling on its own inside and then underneath, just write me a sentence along the bottom, okay, to tell me why the character is feeling that way, way okay? I'm going to put that um, Tom is feeling excited because he can't wait to cook, or he's, he's excited because of cooking such lovely food. So Tom is feeling excited. Because the food smells 
delicious. So I've just slightly changed that there because as I was writing it, I came up with a different idea. So Tom's feeling excited because the food smells delicious, okay? Just going to add a couple of thoughts. So Tom is thinking about the weather. What will the weather be like in the morning? So he's questioning himself there because he's thinking about it. What will the weather be like? So he's thinking about this because he needs to know what it's going to be like so he can take his boat out. So what will the weather be like in the morning? So he's actually asked himself a question there. So I need to put a question mark on it, okay? I need to make sure we're punctuating correctly, okay? So my thoughts and feelings are slightly different than what I'd put on the board, but that is because I just want to give you some more ideas of how we can think about the character's thoughts and feelings, okay? So... We've got feelings on the inside, thoughts on the outside. Remember, if you have put a thought and the character is questioning themselves or asking a question, you must put a question mark, okay? Again, put your feeling and tell me why the character is feeling that way. What reason do you think they're feeling proud, happy, excited, joyful? Okay, they might be feeling sad, they might be feeling upset. Why are they feeling like that, okay? So what you're going to do today is, you're not going to do it for Tom. I've modelled Tom, um, so you can have a look at how we set it out. You're going to do it for different characters. So you're going to look at Mauser today, doing a roll on the wall for Mauser. Okay, so remember, feelings on the inside, thoughts on the outside. Tell me why the character is feeling that way, and then put thoughts about what do you think that character is thinking and why. If you need to refresh on the book, just click on a link from last week to look at the reading that we've done so far and it'll just give you a bit of a refresher okay good luck acorns